of New York City. Police say he was armed with two pistols and a submachine gun. He also had a large quantity of cocaine. He took a four-year-old girl, her father, a 35-year-old woman, and two teenagers hostage. The woman escaped. Well, we was in the apartment, and the guy just came in, and he just started shooting, so I don't know. He just pushed his way into the apartment. Police took positions all around the neighborhood. Hostage negotiators moved into the apartment above the gunmen. He began firing random shots. Police say the gunman demanded baking soda, which is used to convert cocaine into crack. He was uh, threatening us that he was going to shoot one of the hostages for the baking soda. But the police refused to give him the baking soda, saying they would not be able to control his behavior and were afraid it would make him wilder. Early this morning, the gunman's girlfriend and a police chaplain recorded a videotape pleading with him to give up. She suggested that he, you know, surrender, come out, so he doesn't get hurt or no one else gets hurt. After more shooting, police placed bulletproof blankets over the apartment windows. We're trying to, by telephone, reach the other people that are in these uh, apartments to say, don't open the door, they're safe as long as they don't open the door. As the standoff continued tonight, police say they heard frightened screams and crying from the four-year-old hostage. Jennifer McLogan, NBC News, New York.